Small bite, big threat. Happy day everyone! Welcome to another session of PGI's health teaching video. For today, we will be discussing dengue fever. Several Asian countries are experiencing unusually high numbers of dengue cases for this time of year. With the rainy season approaching, the World Health Organization is calling for action to minimize illness and deaths from dengue. What is dengue? Dengue is an acute infectious disease that is characterized by headache, severe joint pain, and a rash, and that is caused by a single-stranded RNA virus of the genus Flavivirus or species Dengue virus that is transmitted by mosquitoes of the genus Aedes. It is also called the breakbone fever, dandy fever, dengue fever. The viruses that cause dengue fever are spread by mosquitoes of the species Aedes aegypti and sometimes also by Aedes albopticus. Aedes mosquitoes are usually found in urban and suburban areas as they like to breed in man-made containers like tires, flower pots, and household water. Symptoms of dengue fever typically develop between 3 and 14 days after a person is being bitten with an infected mosquito. The classic signs and symptoms are the following. Sudden onset of high fever which may last from 2 to 7 days. Second, joint and muscle pain and pain behind the eyes. Weakness, skin rushes, nose bleeding when fever starts to subside, abdominal pain, vomiting of coffee-colored matter, dark colored stools, and difficulty of breathing. If ever, fever or symptoms persist for two or more days, bring the patient to the nearest hospital. Doctors can diagnose dengue infection with a blood test to check for the virus or antibodies to it. If you become sick after traveling to a tropical area, let your doctors know. This will allow your doctor to evaluate the possibility that your symptoms were caused by a dengue infection. As with most viruses, treatments for dengue will only manage its symptoms. Pain relievers that don't make the bleeding worse may be taken. Intravenous or IV fluids may be given to prevent shock, but frequent blood draws and other assessments must be performed to make sure the IV fluids aren't making the person sicker. The Department of Health of the Philippines urges each Filipino citizen to follow the 4S against dengue virus. First is to search and destroy. Second, self-protection measures. Third, seek early consultation. And last, say yes to fogging when there is an impending outbreak or a hotspot. Thank you and God bless.